hi everybody greetings from idaho nice day here today beautiful 70 degrees and there's all kinds of little salamanders running around i don't know if there are salamanders or, or there some sort of lizards but there is so many of them here some sort of lizard anyway they zip really quick I am sure there is also a bunch of rattlesnakes that probably slithers through here anyway uh, I wanted to talk to you about the Russian Ukrainian conflict a little bit you know uh, it's been now a few weeks since Ukraine invaded Kursk Oblast in Russia. And you know, ever since it happened, I just find hard to believe that it happened. And I'll tell you why. Uh, Russia, they know they have informants, they have their spies, they know about all the storages with ammunition and equipment Ukrainians are trying to be creative by hiding that stuff in old libraries or schools or post offices and then they get bombed and then of course scream all over TV that you know evil Russia bombs library or school or something and the school was just a building but it was filled with either troops or equipment or ammunition or so forth everything something military related so russia knows about it right how come they supposedly didn't know that ukraine was trying to invade them didn't they see thousands of troops hundreds of pieces of equipment on their border gathering are they really stupid i don't think so they knew about it i'm i'm like certain 99.9 percent .9 certain that they uh, knew about it but they in my opinion they let it happen they let ukraine invade russia and here is why in my opinion you know uh, since the war started there has been a talk that putin will bomb ukraine with nuclear tactical bombs you know and that talk doesn't go away everybody keeps talking about it now it's like almost normal like yeah it's gonna happen you know and uh, in my opinion time will tell if this is true or not but in my opinion Putin on purpose let Ukrainians you know attack actual Russia proper so he will have good excuse to drop nukes on them just like the United States dropped nukes on Japan because Japan didn't want to surrender same thing is gonna happen here well may not happen but probably or could happen that's more correct it could happen that all of this is done on purpose you know because you know it's more important to lose a battle and win a war and right now it looks like russia is losing but it could be that there, there is bigger plans you know in Putin's head very possible let me know in the comments if it makes sense what I'm saying 
and uh, for this reason or another I'm pretty sure nukes will be dropped on the Ukraine because many times I talked about it before in many of my videos the prophecy of Philip Barnett called Azov Mena A Z O V M E N A I believe the prophecy is true look it up if you're curious you know I have several videos on Azov Mena prophecy and in that prophecy Pastor Philip Barnett clearly you know states the cities that are gonna get bombed and uh, I'm sure the prophecy is, is a real deal and it's gonna come to pass you know it has to come to pass somehow right so um, this could be this could be what Putin is doing I mean prophecy if it's a true prophecy no matter what it's gonna come to pass you know whether it's with invasion of Ukrainian forces into Kursk or some other reason or no reason but it's gonna happen but I think from Putin's perspective this could be it you know this could be what he's doing to have a good reason to bomb Ukraine with nuclear bombs anyway here is my truck here's my load this is pretty rare load just one single pipe and an I-beam I-beam is less than 3,000 pounds pipe is 13,000 pounds so it's like 16,000 pounds you know seldom I get loads that you drive 2,000 miles and you know you have a lot of gas when you have light load like this because typically loads are 40,000 pounds or more so I feel happy about it anyway everybody have a great day once again let me know in the comments what you think if it makes sense and I'll talk to you in the next upload take care